Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's last Schneider talk session. Thank you for being here. Today's topic is going to be the uh, electric vehicle as it ties to the home energy systems that we are uh, building at Schneider Electric. Um, my name is John Lindsay. I'll be your host for this at the session. I want to talk to you a little about Schneider Electric. Schneider Electric takes sustainability very personally. It's part of our DNA. It's what we do. It's very close to who we are, how we approach our jobs, and how we look at this industry as a whole. So this is critically important to us um, as people in the industry. And what we're hoping as you walk away from this session is that you look at sustainability and consider it as part of your DNA as well. Look at your homes, look at your lifestyle, and think about sustainability as a whole and your lifestyle as well. Today, I'm joined by Tom Bowen from Qmerit Solutions. Tom and I are going to be chatting this afternoon and just talking a little bit about what it is we do as a company as a whole and what we're doing together as partners. Tom, would you like to tell us a little bit about Qmerit? Thanks. Sure, John. And thank you for the opportunity to be here. So, Qmerit is North America's largest, North America's largest provider of diverse or distributed workforce management. And so what we do is we use technology to connect thousands of electricians with our partners, customers to complete EV infrastructure and electrification projects. And in doing so, we're covering the United States and Canada and have ex uh, that started our expansions into the UK with our initial installations. So we're very happy to be here and talk to you with Shida today. So it's kind of interesting. I was, I learn something new every time I get to talk to Tom. I didn't realize about the expansion into other countries. It's pretty exciting what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. And it may come as a surprise to the people here because nobody's really challenged by this, but we found out that some people are still a little bit skeptical about the transition. Can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, there is there is some learnings that still take place, although we still see that adoption is really accelerating. Uh, the vehicles, EV vehicle sales in 2021 were approximately 6 million, and the projection is by 2025 that that will be as many as, as north of 20 million. So that represents about 25% of the total vehicle sales um, in that period of time, and that's with a limit amount of models. And what we're seeing is that there's huge expansion in the actual models. Over the next couple of years, we'll be going from 10 to 50 models available to 150 to 250 models available of EV vehicles. Some of those which you may have seen in the other exhibit hall. So this is the expansion that we're talking about, this growth that we're talking about, it's actually a little bit unexpected for even us. As we track the industry, we see the growth in the industry. We've been surprised by the numbers and some of the the organizations and the people that track those sales growth numbers are revising the numbers as we sit here today and talk about the growth. So the growth is huge. What do you think is driving it? Well, I think first and foremost, the battery technology continues to advance. And so one of the challenges initial drivers had was range. And vehicles had a range of maybe 100 to 150 miles. Um, that's expanded substantially as we see vehicles having a range to three to 400 miles from that standpoint. Incentives continue, whether they're federal tax incentives, state incentives, utility incentives are driving those costs down. We're also seeing more regulatory changes that are driving reduced emissions for combustion engines. And so that's starting to drive that. The price points as we expand those models, and we get to a, a much lower price point. So the availability and accessibility of EV vehicles is dramatically increased. and. And the last point, and, and I don't know if you've seen a job, but these cars are just cool. <laughs> I mean, the cars that are coming out are great to look at, great to drive. I really think the popularity is going to continue to soar. You know, the technology is truly exciting. When you've been on the side of the business that we've been on, when you're looking at the electrification, the, um, the software solutions that are coming into play, it's really exciting to us. Maybe not so exciting to the average consumer, but we're seeing shifts in a two-year period that are monumental to the industry as a whole. And it's genuinely exciting to see it. And you're right, didn't even touch on the vehicles like you just did. Yeah, they're just really cool. What's got you most excited? Well, I, I've been in the business of, of sustainability and energy conservation my whole career. And so really what I'm very excited about is the ability for transition to EV 
to allow each individual to take control of their carbon footprint. That's a great transition as we look about it. The other is that technology advances, the use of data from these vehicles and from the chargers is really educating consumers on how they drive, preferences that they have with their vehicles, and the manufacturers as well as they design the next and the latest from that standpoint. So the data component of it is really big as we look at transitioning some of the things that, that I'm really excited about, John. Some of the questions we get asked consistently, Tom, are about grid capacity, things of that nature. And where do you see some of those opportunities headed? Yeah, I think that, that, that it, another exciting thing about the EV transition is it does have the ability to support grid capacity as we go through. Uh, EVs become part of that grid resilience strategy as the technologies continue to advance. Yeah. This week at CES, Schneider Electric announced to Schneider Home. It's pretty, it, it, it's clearly groundbreaking. There's been a lot of advances in the technology at Pockets. And this is the first major leap where you have a fully integrated system. Cumera has been leading some of the technology discussions for years in this space. What do you think about this new solution? Well, I, I think as we look at the integration of the home into the vehicle, it's compelling and it's, it's really critical as we do through, as we go through, because a lot of the things that were, were just slowing down the advancements are, are being overcome. We talked about the range of the range anxiety and those components, um, the cost points are coming down. So we're gonna see more and more customers moving in the direction of these vehicles and the ability to integrate them into their homes is going to be critical. Yeah, when we talk about Schneider Home and the solution that uh, Schneider announced this week at CES, you're talking about integration of solar, you're talking about integration of battery storage, you're talking about integration of electric vehicle charging with these vehicles that have significant storage capacity themselves, all through one application. It's kind of unheard of. It's, it's really unique, though, with the direction we're going. But that does tie into some of the other technologies that are in play in this space. Solar's one of them. Yeah, exactly. And solar gets connected quite a bit when we look at the transition from EV. And so one of the things to factor in, and consumers do have to factor in, is use of an EV will accelerate their electrical rate to electrical usage. And that's involving the utilities as well as they are creating different rate structures for their consumers to be able to tie in. Solar becomes a component of that because it's allowing utilization above solar energy renewable, and in many cases combined with storage to create an opportunity to generate and charge those vehicles. Um, but all of those are become decision points for the consumer. Uh, when to use those, what rate should you be on, when to time that correctly so your shot charge of your vehicle at the point where your utility costs are the most highest. And then that's really what we're excited about with the partnership with Shia John, is the ability to take what we know about EV infrastructure, implementation of those services, and really help to educate those clients to make it that as valuable an experience as they can. There's a couple areas in there that we kind of grazed on, and some of them are kind of interesting. When you talk about so solar as it relates to the EV and you bring the EV into that equation, it actually creates a lower cost model for overall uh, use in, in that space. So that's kind of exciting in and of itself. But it has another tie to, another, uh, to an area that's really exciting and everybody's talking about that is bi-directional. Sure, and so bi-directional becomes a game changer as we see the expansion of these technologies. So if you think that, that the sun has the ability to generate some power for your vehicle and you can store that in a, in a battery now you have the ability to be resilient in your home. When you have the ability with a bi-directional vehicle and a bi-directional charger to not only charge that vehicle, but take that energy back out of the vehicle, either back into your home or in some cases, even back to the grid. You have that ability now in periods of time where you might have outages, John, where you can drive the vehicle or drive your own power off the use of that vehicle you can also drive back into the grid during periods of time where we hear a lot about states like California that have brownouts, blackouts, challenges at certain times when they're utilizing the grid. So the ability to take that vehicle in a bi-directional strategy, take power back out of it and put it back into the house or into the grid becomes very compelling. So final question for you. It's been a fun three days here at, at uh, CES. This has been amazing, some of the things that are going on here. Where do you see the industry headed? What's exciting for you? Well, 
I think for me, one of the most exciting things is the cars, and we talked about that. We're seeing just some, some dramatic expansion in the vehicles. We, uh, Camara partners with multiple OEMs, and we see the technologies in those improving substantially as it relates to that. I'm really excited about the impact this has on sustainability, uh, the ability for these vehicles to, to not only um, transport customers, but also allow them to reduce that carbon footprint and impact their sustainable lifestyle. And I'm very excited about the partnership with Schneider as well, John, is that it really allows us to go take that electrification journey, which we at Kumer has always believed really starts in the garage and expand through the hull. With it, you know, honestly, we're, we're genuinely excited about the relationship that we have with Cumera. This is really excited where it's going. You're clearly a leader in this space for electrification residential across the United States. We're proud to be your partner in this space. We did, I want to thank you for taking yeah. the time to sit here and I want to thank the audience for joining us today. If you have any questions about e-mobility, electrification, we'll do the best we can to answer them. And we've got a lot of experts around here that can answer the questions if we can't do it for you. Thank you very much. Have a great time at CES. Thanks for the time.